This video is all about NFT hydroponics. Now, if you know anything about the nutrient film technique, normally you find that outside in larger scales, but I wanted to figure out how can I bring the NFT system inside of my kitchen? Let's find out. What's going on my plant peoples? I am the ADHD gardener where I use gardening, houseplants, and humor as a form of mental health therapy. And yes, we're in my kitchen and yes, this is a hydroponic system using downspout gutters. Of course, I'm going to be showing you guys how I set this up, but also I'm going to be showing you one major problem that I had with this. When I was building and setting this up, I encountered one major problem. Now I did incorporate it into this video just, well one, because I have nothing to hide, and two, I did not want you to make the same mistake that I did, of course, so I am gonna show you it. But it was a trial and error, but once you get it, man, it really does work out. These downspouts were about 17 bucks just for like a long 10 footer. I want to say it was 10 foot. Now these end caps, those were about five bucks. But of course you're going to see in the video that mm, that was part of the problem. Could you set up this whole system without those end caps? Yes, you can. You'll find out further in the video. What would cost you some decent amount of money would be the tubing. Now, depending on where you buy the tubing from, I wound up buying this from dripdepot.com. I know I'm not affiliated because I needed to buy this outside for my outdoor irrigation anyway. I had this shelf in my home, but I wasn't really doing anything with it. So I said to myself, self, what are you gonna do with it? And this is where I thought about the NFT system. The water is coming out of that, going being fed through the black tubes into there. Then it's gonna slide on out, out of these tubes and back into the bucket. Isn't that awesome? This right here will eventually have another gutter, but I didn't want to set up another gutter until I get some more, you know, proper lighting. Go to your home improvement store in the gutter section, and you're going to be looking for the vinyl or the plastic downspout. The rest of them are aluminum, so you have to make sure that you want the plastic one. Oh, I totally jacked that up. I did not know that you had to do it like that. I thought it was just one Oh uh, no. Hey, Jack. Was using a top saw? You know? No, I was using the other saw, the smaller hand uh, version, and I was just straight right, chopping. Oh uh, man. Now I'm going to be drilling them holes that are gonna go for each of these little neck cups. I don't know what these things are called, but you can find them in your hardware store. It's like a circular, it makes a circle cut, and that's what you're looking for. I've used Leica balls when it comes to hydroponics before, but I found that they are just not, you know, heavy enough. So, of course, Van Doozy from Keep On Growing and his channel, he's always talking about pool noodles, so of course the pool noodle is definitely what I'm using. So in the beginning, I started putting the gutter seam stuff in the inside of the elbow. Now, I thought that was a really good idea, right? But when, what I did not notice was that when you put them together, that the seam on the inside, it would all spew out a bunch of that gutter seam. Now, I did not want that to be touching the water. So I had to really think fast and not do the rest of them. And also, I'm gonna have to readjust in the future. But for now, what I did notice that worked was actually putting it on the gutter itself. And also, don't put it so close to the end. That would work out the best. So I'm just gonna put it right on here. Now this was the smarter idea, man. Now of course I did not come up with this until I screwed up a few times. We've got our sealants. Now, I didn't even put it all the way up here because I'm not gonna get water that far up. But if you wanted to, together. Now look at that, you have minimal, minimal sealant on the inside. Barely anything, now that's what I wanted to see. Now mind you, my sealant is gray. This is the gutter seal. Now of course you could be using a different type of sealant. You can use a silicone based. That's perfectly fine too. Those come clear and white, whatever. But this is what I had because this is what I had. All of these gutters are gonna need at least 24 hours to cure all the way and I wanna ensure that they're really, really dry. Okay, let's pause real quick. I wanted to put these elbows on both ends because my plan was to put a PVC pipe right through it. Little did I know that that was a major no-no. Never fear because it gets fixed in the end and of course it had nothing to do with me. Let's talk all things water. Now this bucket is a five gallon food grade bucket that I spray painted black. I ordered this from dripdepot.com. 
No, I am not affiliated. This little plastic piece attaches the main tubing to the small tubing that's gonna be running into the NFT system. This is quarter inch tubing and I think this is exactly like three quarters or one inch tubing. All the holes and the irrigation pieces I used, I used all those materials from what I had from the irrigation outdoors. I got all of this from dripdepot.com. This tubing right here is connected to a water pump. That water pump right there, I got it from Amazon. I got like a two for one deal. I, one of those I gave to my dad and the other one I just kept inside. Now that water pump is connected to the tubing. The main tubing is just coming up to right here and then I just put an end piece on it. Those tubes from the buckets are going all the way up, all the way up and they're being fed two tubes a piece for every single gutter or downspout. I have the water pump at its lowest setting. I do need to add more water in here because it is looking kind of low. The nutrients that I used for this NFT system was the master blend that you would use for the cracking method. I like using that as a base system for all of my, I guess for all my hydros. From there, I would add a lot more nutrients to this whole system if I wanted to. Okay, now this is where the problem happened. Now what I'm doing right here is using a heat gun to try to make a hole into it so I can add PVC to start working on the returning of the water section. My problem was is that I really had a leaking problem and that is where I had to have some help later on in the video. I was trying to set the PVC pipe directly into the gutter and that was my problem. That led to a lot of leaks and did not work out. That's where Jose comes in. The end that has the water that's coming into the gutter, I may or may not silicone that. Basically, I need to be able to take this down whenever I need to. So I didn't want to silicone them. So I figured I could just put them behind, behind the foam and they'll stay put. The water's gonna come out of that bucket, go through those tubes, go into and fill in these gutters. But also, the water's gonna come out, the water's gonna slide out, come through the pipes, and then go right back into the bucket. Now that's the plan. Before I do test of the water system, I do have to silicone the ends of these because as you see, maybe not that one, but for example, this one, you see how open it is? See, this is the part where I did not make the connection that what I was doing had a great idea, but I did not need the PVC pipe. Dad and Jose told me about a different piece called a grommet that would have worked right here, but I did not pay attention to them. Okay, yeah, it's flowing. the pump is on. I mean like, what about lifting like this? We'll be oh, all right. No, stop, stop. What? This was leaking, that was leaking. They're all leaking. Yep, Jose took off all the gutters. The side that had all the PVC pipe, he just basically cut it all off so we can start from square one at the end of those gutters. Oh, Ramen, you're here to make me feel better? Cause I need it. Oh my gosh, make me feel better, Ramen. I have no eyeliner right now because I cried it all away. Yeah, because I felt like a massive failure again because I did not think things through, I did not plan, and I also did not listen to dad's advice. Now, if I listen to dad's advice, and even Jose had a good advice too about my NFT system, it sucks, sucks balls. Yes, it does. But Jose's gonna help me finish it and come up with a whole new design. Well, we all know not a whole new design, just a different piece when it comes to the leaking part. If you watch that uh, Keep On Growing with Van Doozy uh, channel, he always mentioned on how to kind of bend up that type of downspout so you won't need to, you know, it just kind of holds the water. More aesthetically pleasing. What Jose was thinking, and of course my dad, was to make a little, you know, buy a little grommet piece and then that's what you're gonna put in. Jose is an ISTJ, okay? So that man has some serious skills up in that brain of his. After he shaped the downspout end part of it, folded it up so the water would be able to hold, now he's trying to poke a hole into that little area just so he can fit the grommet piece in. Yo, why didn't I think of this? I did not think of this, okay? It's just, but you know what was sucked? Is that I didn't listen to no one else that told me about this. Now, of course, it started working and there was no leaks because man, Jose and dad's idea was right. I had the great concept for the NFT system, but that little spot where it leaked, that was my only problem. Jose got that little plastic PVC piece from the plumbing department in Home Depot. 
He used a bunch of Teflon tape and then he used the silicone around it. Wow, your system actually worked out. Hey, you know. Can't open it. Oh, okay, I didn't. <laughs> I can't open it. Okay, sorry. When it came to the return of the water with the PVC down into the bucket, Jose put a little end cap piece of it so the water can freely just fall into the bucket. I had the PVC tube all the way directly down, but that pressure thing was not happening. So that's why he put the little end piece on the top of the cap to prevent it from falling all the way in. When it came to growing seedlings, my dad gave me a good idea on the vermiculite and perlite. Now, I did not want to use rock walls, so using this combination inside of a fruit uh, container, because that fruit container has holes in it, that worked out perfectly when it came to growing these, you know, these little seedlings. When you're in this stage, man, these seedlings were incredibly, incredibly fragile. And those roots were not as long as I wanted to be, so in the end, some of them did die. But if you had more seedlings, you could just replace them. This row, I got a grow light from Amazon, but it was made for house plants, not seedlings. Damn, that's a lot of water. Okay. See, what had happened was, was the quarter inch tubing that feeds the water into the downspout, being that I didn't permanently kind of attach them to the downspout, uh, yeah, it accidentally pulled out and then that's where the water leak came from. If you know that you're not gonna be moving or dismantling the system, then you can, you know, permanently keep it on the gutter but if you know you're gonna be moving it then you know what will happen I got Jose to move this entire shelving unit from the living room to the kitchen one because this was awfully close to a plug and outlet on the bottom of this whole shelf so when we were in testing phase with the water I was completely afraid of you know dropping water on the outlet so I told him to bring it over here the second reason is because I have a good window that I wanted to put the shelf on there. Now being that I had three different rows of these uh, gutters, you're gonna be able to see what it would look like when it's just no lights and just using your window. Now as you see here, it is not looking good. That one died, but I just never replaced it from the beginning. As you see, these grew incredibly slow and incredibly stringy. Now this was, this was supposed to be lettuce, but look how stringy this is. That is not looking good. This is just relying on the light from the window. This is a west facing window. You can see that's where the sun set, but it's not that bright of a, not a lot of light. Coming up to the middle. Now this is the perfect one. I mean, the lighting is still not the best. I ideally would have wanted a light source that you know covered both gutters, but that will come in time. I got these from Home Depot. Now these ideally would go underneath like a cabinet or something, but that's what I had. So, I mean, one row is looking really good. As you see over here, it's a little bit of a shadow, so they are kind of leaning, but you can always rotate that, but they are still growing relatively good. I'm sure you can always add another light, but you know. Now this grow light, of course, Jose had to show me that, hey, I didn't have this at full strength. This light source, I got it from Amazon. Now this was kind of marketed toward house plants. I did not know if it was gonna work for seedlings. Obviously, it's strong, but it's not strong enough like the actual lights are supposed to be. These lights over here are strong, but not a lot, because look at it, this side is still small. Small and leggy, look at that. These are doing a lot better, but that's because I have the light directly right above it. So it would work, but that's not ideal. As you see here, one of the sides I did keep, all right, I had no problem, that's where the tubes are entering in here. But the ending part where the water is coming out, that's where I got Jose's idea. And Jose's idea worked out way better than mine. It's just sitting right there in my kitchen. And I'm loving it. Now, of course, in the future, I'm going to be switching out, adding more lights, switching out the lights. But at least for now, we get to see it and it's a proven concept. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you got some good information out of it. I mean, this NFT system really, really, really played on me a lot. But I've learned a lot of lessons just from this alone. But it did work, and that's awesome. I mean, who wouldn't want to have lettuce right inside of your kitchen? If you did enjoy this video and you want to show me some love, then don't forget to smash that like button. I really appreciate it. Also, if you haven't been, consider subscribing. I drop a video when I can because, yeah, my life is a little on the hectic side right now. A little is an understatement. Until the next episode, you guys, where you and me both are going to be growing our happiness one plant at a time, one day at a time. I'll check y'all later in the next episode. Peace and love.